Hello everyone, this is Martin from Mini on Minor, and this video will be a very special three-part unboxing series about the brand new long-awaited Bitmain and Miner S21. That's right, this new generation Bitcoin Miner will be the flagship model for the upcoming years, just like the S19 series was in the last couple of years. Bitmain managed to achieve a staggering 200 terahash Bitcoin mining hash rate with power consumption of only 3550 watts. This ultra-efficient ASIC is the most profitable Bitcoin mining machine in the market. In part one, we are going to unbox the package, check the contents to show you guys how would you get your miner if you order from millionminer.com. In part two, we are going to talk about the Antwire cable, which will be the new standard cable for upcoming Bitmain miners. And we are going to bring you options how to power up your miner. In part three, we are going to set up the miner as usual with exact instructions how to connect it to your pool details and how to manage your miner. So let's go. Alright, we unbox the package, we have all the contents here, so let's talk about this new Antwire cable by Bitmain. In the last couple of years in the industry, we were used to using C14 and C19 cables, mostly all on our miners. The Bitmain and Miner S19 miners were using C14 cables, uh, specifically two of them. So if you used an S19 miner in the past, you were used to powering it up with two of these C14 cables with the rounded edges, which is commonly used by uh, computers, PCs, or any other uh, similar equipment. Ice River, in the other hand, uh, on their recent new large and powerful miners, they started using these C19 cables. These cables are rated for a higher amperage than the C14 cables, so they can take way more wattage. And now, a new generation of power cables will rise because Bitmain just shipped uh, this new Antwire cable. I will show you to the camera. So this is the Antwire cable that will be powering the Antminer S21 machines. Luckily, Bitmain was providing for us a converter which can convert a C20, this is a C20 socket which you can directly plug in a c19 power cord directly into it and you can power your bitmain machine this here is a p13 plug so this p13 plug will go directly into the p14 socket which you can find on the miner so let's align the colors we know that we're gonna do it this way and just directly connect it until you hear a click. And there you go. In the other hand, you just take a regular C19 cable, 
the one that we were showing you, the one that Ice River uses for the KS3M machines. And you just simply take the C19 and connect it with the C20 socket. Just like this. And now you can directly plug this to your wall and will power your ant miner machine. Let's do that now. All right, guys, we put the miner in the mining room so you can hear my voice. Let's set up the miner. Uh, for today, we are going to use nice hash pool. Nice hash always gives you a slight more profit with your ASIC miner, especially with uh, Bitcoin mining than any other pool. So first thing first, always identify the IP address of the miner. Uh, we go to our client devices and we look for something with Antminer. It's always called Antminer. So this is the IP, we know this. We're gonna search for it. Default login, Antminer, always root and root. Same, root and root. Once we log in, uh, we see uh, the miner. We already set this up, but for the video, we're going to set this up again. Uh, first, we go to the settings page. And this is where you can set up your miner into your pool details. First thing first, we go to the ASIC boost stratum place of nice hash, where we copy the first line here. This is the URL that we're going to use for mining purposes. And we're going to insert it into pool one. For the worker ID, it's always going to be your nice hash mining address. So you go to nice hash, you go to mining section here, and you copy the mining address, this one here. You copy the mining address, you just go to Antminer and you place the mining address followed by a dot and you name your worker. For example, for the video, we're going to call this S21. And then the password doesn't matter. You can just leave it at an X, not going to make any difference. And when you're done, you just click save and it's going to save your pool details. Next page is the IP settings. This page shows the basic network information of your miner, such as the MAC address, uh, your miner IP address. This is the internal IP address, not your public IP. This is just how the miner is located in your network, in your router environment. So the next part is password section. Here where you can set uh, the password of the miner, the current password is root and root. So if you type in root for current password, I can change this to anything. So I 0511, for example, I change it. And then I just click save. It's gonna save the details, the password details, and it's gonna ask you to log in again because it's changed. So we are gonna log in again. By the way, the username is not changeable. You can only change passwords. You cannot change username. Okay, so we logged in with the new details. I even gonna save this as root and the new password. The next section is firmware upgrade. Uh, the S21 is a brand new device, brand new firmware. So you're going to have a lot of firmware release in the upcoming months. The next section is the miner logs. As usual, we find information about our ASIC miner in this section here. So uh, chain operation, hashboard operation, uh, when the miner starts up, you see that it's usually initializing power, which usually takes up to two minutes. Um, and then it sets up the hashboards and if everything is correct, it hashes. If you have any issues, you will be able to identify your issue by the end miner log section. So last page, the home dashboard page, of course, the miner hash is at 203 terahash, a little bit above the rated hash rate, which we're always happy about. Here are our pool details. You can find all the separate hash boards here. So the number of chips, any hardware error, if there's any, uh, the, the giga hash, how much giga hash they hashing, uh, temperatures in, in inlet and outlet temperature, uh, fan speed, of course, the different uh, fan speed individually, and little more information here, you find the serial number of your miner, MAC address, um, and of course, IP and firmware version. That's it guys, thank you for watching as usual, and I see you at the next one.